Peggy 18. Hey guys, this is Tommy Jacob. I'm the creative director on Ghost Recon Future Soldiers Multiplayer. We've got the beta finally ready for you. We're gonna have two maps. We're gonna have two game types. We've got the full character progression ready for you to unlock. And I'm here to give you the intel on what to expect. For the beta, your deployment will take you to Nigeria and Russia. Pipeline is set in dusty, urban Nigeria. Teams will exchange fire between two elevated positions that overlook a central industrial arena. This oil refinery turned shanty village has a side alley perfect for flanking your enemy's position. The hard corners and narrow passageways between shanties make for excellent spots to hide or tuck away a piece of equipment. As this is one of the smaller locations, submachine guns and shotguns are extremely effective. Mill is a rural and desolate location in Russia. A small river controlled by a Soviet air dam cuts the space in half. Players can use three crossings to reach the other bank or risk traversing the open river below. The limited routes over the river make an excellent place to drop equipment. The light, misty fog and long range make snipers an extremely valuable member of your team and engineers can use the tall trees above to mask the movement of their drones. The objective areas often favor close quarters combat making a fast-moving engineer or scout a formidable foe through this agricultural village. Conflict is our objective-based team deathmatch. Completing an objective scores team points as well as providing an in-game reward such as intel and resupplies. The sensor is live. Protect it. Although kills don't count toward the team score, Taking down your enemies and protecting your teammates while they complete objectives is a highly effective method for maintaining control of the battle. In Saboteur, the match begins with a bomb at a central location on the map. Teams race to secure, transport, and detonate the bomb at their enemy's base. The bomb carrier sees an objective where the bomb needs to be planted. His teammates see this location as well as seeing the bomb carrier as an escort objective. Teamwork is essential for completing this highly challenging single objective. Players will need to decide to protect the carrier or clear out the demo location. The team to detonate the bomb wins. Target destroyed. Good work. So now you guys have a little bit more information about the beta. Be sure to check out all the rest of the information that we have online. We'll be playing here from Red Storm and from the rest of Ubisoft. Thanks for watching.